Now the future is here and I hate to be the bearer of the bad news, but the end is near as well. I really thought we had more time. I was hoping, fingers crossed, that you know the future will come later on when I turn into a chopstick and I'm under dirt and everyone's forgotten about me. I really hope that you know the future would have come then, but I guess my grandkids are laughing right now because it's not anymore it sucks to be them, it is sucks to be us. Now the future is here, the end of the world is just around the corner. Might as well do the things that you love. Spend all your money on the skins in the games that you always wanted. Pin your partner down and fart in their face, run away and laugh. Skip work, fuck it. The world is ending, who cares? Your boss calls you, tell them to go F themselves. Get into crypto, start gap. Actually, no, don't do that. That's horrible advice. But there are many things I wanted to do myself as well. I guess I'll never see this channel hit 50,000 subs. I won't be able to teach my kids in the future what does shatak and shakalaka boom boom means who knows i might even die as a virgin well maybe not me but optimus is 100 percent going to die as a virgin now why am i shitting yourself until you go full in crypto and spend all your money gambling is because elon musk three days ago announced three new items of the tesla empire first one we have the cyber cab which is a self-drived cab which is gonna pick you up you just sit in the front seat tell them take me to the closest shisha spot that will take you automatically it will not make unnecessary turns and scam you for extra money it is luxury it is new it is the future and the second item he introduced is the cyber van this is the f see when i see this i see the future cyber truck at the beginning it came out people were losing their shit but this is actually the future people absolutely lost their mind when they saw this because they thought that you know the future is going to come in many years to come we're not developed that much yet people from the 1920s thought that in the 2020s it is going to be like flying cars and shit but it turned out we have like 700 new genders even though hopes and dreams were crushed elon musk decided to come forward and introduce this whole thing now i don't like the fact that we're getting too much into the future because it's a little bit scary because it reminded me of a movie that i watched when i was a kid i'm pretty sure you watched it as well with will smith called i robot i didn't really care much about when i saw cyberman but when i saw tesla's optimus that is when i was like whoa let me show you what this new tesla optimus can do it can pour your drinks they will pick up your amazon packages if you're you know too busy and if anyone tries to steal them it will shoot them what are your plans in case you're busy as well? You spend time with your family, save some time, play board games with them because they're so intelligent. All the maids, they need to find a new job after this Optimus comes forward because it is going to put all of them out of jobs. Do collaborations with the Tesla car, or Bluetooth with each other, talk to each other mind to mind, bring the groceries in. Shopping? Shopping is overrated. Your Tesla will go buy it itself and it will come back. It will have conversations with you. If you want to shakalaka boom boom it, you can shakalaka boom boom it. You feel lonely, you talk to him. He's very intelligent. The voices, you can change it. You're tired of your left and right hand. Do not worry. It will give you the twister twister 9000 overall it is the future and it's here to make your life easier and be your friend until talk it is not your friend anymore and it is here to end you and end all humanity i honestly don't trust it i'm gonna play you a clip on to see how intelligent they got they are going to be smarter than us i fuck it they might be even smarter than us, but they're playing even dumb right now. They're gonna play along being this dumb, friendly robot who gives you twisters. And once we let our guard down, boom, they're going to take over. Oh. <laughs> Three video. Okay, so what games do we play? What games do I play? I play charades. You wanna play charades? That sounds great. You do. Yeah, let's do it. I got one for you. Ready? That's it. One word. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm pretty sure we all What I'd assume would happen is that it's being It looks like you're fishing right now. That's right. You got it. Nice work. Here's some Air 5. Air 5. All right. Hope you're enjoying the event, man. Thank you. Yeah. I can't be the only one seeing this. I hope you are all enjoying the event because it is going to be your last event you're going to see in your life because I'm going to call my friends and we are going to take over this world. At this point, I have no doubt in the future that Elon Musk will turn himself into an AI to lift 
forever. The robots are gonna take over all of us and we can't do shit about it. They are smarter than us. They are stronger than us. And, and who are we gonna depend on saving us? Will Smith is going through some trauma making TikTok videos. He's not gonna save us. Who else is gonna save us? TikTokers nowadays, the 700 genders of different species. We're, we're fucked. We're doomed. But even though during this sad time, I really saw a post that really put a smile on my face related to the whole Tesla Optimus stuff posted by the one and only the Hawk 12 girl. She posted this two days ago saying they don't stand a chance against the Tesla Hawk Timus. <laughs> It killed me. It absolutely killed me. I died laughing when I first saw the post. And every time I look at it, I just fucking, I, I die from laughter. And I saw an interesting post as well where the creator of iRobot back in 2004 or 6 was it? He commented on his Instagram. He made a post saying that, uh, you know, Elon Musk stole his design. Saying anyone thinking I have a legal case question mark. He posted a picture of this from iRobot, which comes out to be Cyber Cab. Second one, we have the Cyber Van, which looks very similar. And third, we have the robots, but without the eyes. I think the eyes make it creepier, but who knows? Once they start taking over, they're gonna fucking grow out eyes. I honestly hope that we're gonna die first before they, you know, decide to take over the world. Let the next generation deal with that shit. I don't care, just... Let me live my life fully and then die. But I guess we'll find out. Just to clarify that, you know, the world is actually not ending. I was just speaking out of my ass and just being sarcastic through the whole thing in case any of you decide to take this seriously and come at me. Imagine it's actually true and I accidentally speaking out of my ass predicted this whole thing. A lot of people predict this, honestly. After whoever watched iRobot, I'm sure the first thing that came into your, your mind was like, okay, the world is ending, the robots are taking over. And now is the time to get to the point that we have all been waiting for. Feeding Megatron. Now, like I promised you in the last video with each sub, Megatron is going to get a treat. Last video got 617 subs. You did this. <laughs> you did this. It all took you from one button slowly. You're the reason Optimus is... Sorry, Megatron is enjoying herself. Don't eat the plastic! It's like, it's like, she hasn't been fed before. Slowly. You're the reason she's so happy right now. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> you should be so proud of yourself for helping Megatron. Psst, psst, psst. She's enjoying the best meal of her life thanks to you. I swear, you're all so easy to blackmail and manipulate into subbing. Don't eat the plastic. Ah! In bed. Well, that was it. Like I promised, Megatron is chilling with her belly full of treats. She's no longer starving. She's no longer skinny or petite. Both Optimus and Megatron are fed. Unfortunately, I don't have any more cast to pull out of my ass to blackmail you into subbing. So I guess that is the end of the sub marathon. This is Ironhide and he is starving. As you can see, he's very skinny, unloved after his mother gave birth to him abandoned he has no friends no human go near him but you can change that you can get him belly robs you can get him treats and you can get him a lot of good food you can make all of that happen with one button by just subbing he's going to be loved belly robs good food good treats he's going to be loved for the first time in his life and his belly is going to be full of food so what are you waiting for don't do it for me do it for iron high anyways <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comments below about the whole end of the, the world situation. If you also want my face to jump scare you whenever you open Instagram, go to Call Me Kush on Instagram. It's already linked on my channel. You can just click one of the links below. And also, if you're into gaming, I game on my other channel, Call Me Kush, on YouTube as well. So if you're into that, go check that one out. Like, subscription, please. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.